Hey, my name's Dr. Michael Domeyer. My wife and I own the Rare Hawaiian Honey Company, and we thought we should give you a lesson from Honey University on the, just the basics of honey. You hear that word honey, and everyone just sort of thinks, hmm, I, I know honey, it, it tastes like, you know, honey. But that's not true. We wanna educate you a little bit, so when you think about honey, you think along the lines somebody would when they say wine, right? If you hear the word wine, you think, well, you want me to bring a bottle of wine? What kind of wine? White wine, red wine, and well, what kind of white wine? So it's very much the same with honey, all right? And there's just a few things that you should know and you'll graduate from Honey You. So let's get started. Let's drop on this beehive here. Some of the honeys that actually, we produce all of these honeys. The one in the middle you've probably never seen because it's only sold locally. And we can start with that one. Because when you go to the grocery store, most of the time you're buying a honey blend, right? It's just a generic honey color. It just says honey on it. This is our generic honey brand, which really you can't find outside the state of Hawaii. It's called Sweet Aloha. This comes from bees that are put in a location, maybe a location like this, where just many different kinds of flowers are blooming. We have the banana blooming, we have Brazilian pepper blooming, we have squash blooming, we have other kinds of vines, there's stuff blooming everywhere. So the bees don't discriminate between different nectar types. They love them all pretty much. They're gonna go grab them, they're gonna go put them in the comb, cure it, turn it into honey. Then we pull it out of the comb and we throw it in this jar. It's a blend. This is what we just call a table honey. The technical term for that kind of honey is polyfloral. It's a polyfloral honey. Poly meaning many floral types. But this is not what we're known for. The Rare Hawaiian Honey Company is world famous for monofloral honey varieties. Now monofloral means what? Mono, one. One floral source. You can buy other types of monofloral honeys in the store. Mm -hmm. The most common one in the United States would be clover honey. Clover honey is actually a really delightful honey and it's a honey that most of our American palates are used to when you hear the word honey you think clover honey but I have to say making an organic monofloral honey is very difficult because if I set the bees right here like where they are I can't tell them only go get that squash nectar they're not gonna do that they're gonna get whatever they want so the way to make a monofloral honey is to put them in a location where there's predominantly just one type of flowering plant. And for our world famous one, the Kiavi honey, this beautiful white naturally crystallizing honey, we put them in a forest that's about a thousand acres of just the Kiavi tree. The bees can only feed on Kiavi flower nectar a monofloral honey. In fact, this gets close to 100% monofl monofloral organic Kiavi honey. Technically, according to the government regulations, you only need to have 40% of one type of nectar to call it monofloral. So honestly, I could have 40% Kiavi in here or 40% macadamia nut honey, which happens to be this one, in the same jar, and I could call it monofloral mac nut monofloral Kiavi. But for us at the Rare Hawaiian Honey Company, 40% is not enough. That's why our Kiavi honey is almost always very white. In really bad years, you will see us bottling honey. It's a little bit darker because it's rained and there's been a few wildflowers have um, sprouted and the bees get that and really we can't control it. So again, like wine, honey is impacted by weather, particularly for us, rain and also just the vagaries of the trees. You know, if you have a fruit tree in your backyard, say an apple or a peach, one year you just get tons of fruit. Well, guess what happens the next year? You get almost nothing. The same thing happens when you're making honey. If a Kiawe forest has an amazing year and produces say 80,000 pounds of honey we get in one year, well, you can pretty much guarantee the next year is gonna be a really low year. So just to wrap things up, a monofloral honey is a honey made from a single nectar source. And there are a number of very famous and valuable monofloral honeys in the world. Monofloral honeys are more valuable than blends, what we call table honey. In our case, our most famous one is the Kiavi honey. But if you go to New Zealand, they make Manuka honey. 
It's actually more valuable than our honey. And it's valuable because it has its health benefits, not really its taste. This one blows away Manuka on taste, but they blow our honey away on health um, values. Another really expensive and famous monofloral honey in the world comes from the Middle East. It's called cedar honey. There's a lot of cultural significance around that honey, which really pushes the price up. And I've tried it, it's a dark honey. It's not really my favorite, probably because I grew up in the US uh, eating clover honey, but it is something if you want to reach out and try all the best honeys in the world, you definitely want to get yourself some cedar honey. That's a wrap. You know, my, again, my name is Michael. I run this company with my wife, Amy, and this is the beginning of a series of videos that we want to give you to teach you about our industry, honey, bees, harvesting honey, bottling honey, selling honey. We hope you enjoy it.